I'm going into eighth grade, so this is kind of stressing me out. We talked to your parents, and you were both going to go see the full movie right now. That's awesome! Hey guys, uh, it's Kayla, back with another video. Oh, I've seen this trailer. It like, always pops up on my Instagram. The topic of today's video is being yourself. Oh, is this eighth grade? This is like eighth grade. The 8th grade movie trailer, I think I've seen it before. Being yourself is like not changing yourself to impress someone else. Facts. Most quiet, Kayla Day. I don't talk a lot at school. Me neither. Me neither, stuff, girl. But if people talk to me and stuff, they'd find out that I'm like really funny and cool and talkative. By the way, I like your shirt a lot. It's like so cool. What? This is really awkward. Is she like being bullied a lot? Is this like life between internet versus life between actual, <laughs> the real world? One more week of eighth grade, huh? Huh? I said one more week of eighth grade, right? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, huh? <laughs> That's me. Okay. Oh yeah, I heard okay, that like so uh, Bo Burnham a directed scary. this movie. And weird. We will begin to explore these changing bodies of yours. Oh God. It's gonna be lit. <laughs> This is like painful. As always, make sure to share and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> That's me on YouTube. I think you're so cool. Maybe you just need to put yourself out there a little. I'm gonna stop eating with you if you keep doing this. You said I could say one thing. <laughs> That's me and my dad. I'm really like nervous all the time. I try really hard not to feel that way, but you just need to face your fears. And let people know they're really you. I mean, this is kind of accurate with like people. I like my school. Just grab my phone, how to charge it. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I charge it too. But my, my phone, I... <laughs> it's good, but it's like happening right so much anxiety. It seems like a depressing movie that I'd have a hard time watching. Just because things are happening right now doesn't mean they're always gonna happen. Who was in there? Just sorry of my hopes and dreams. Mood. Right. I was a complete mess when I was your age. Really? Eighth grade is the worst. I agree. Oh boy, I'm going to eighth grade. I'm going into eighth grade, so this is kind of stressing me out. You never know what's next, and that's what makes things exciting and scary and fun. I'll probably watch it, actually. It looks pretty good. And other TV shows, sometimes it feels like they're trying too hard to be relatable. But here, they, they actually understand what it's like. Everyone's just trying to fit in. Post pictures, you can get the most likes, who can get the most follows, who can get the most comments. It's kind of like a competition, and you always have to, like, like, I guess, present yourself and, like, make yourself look good for other people's enjoyments, not for yourself. So now we have an interview with the director, Bo Burnham, and the main star of the film, Elsie Fisher, so you can get a little more background on the film. Ooh. So everyone is talking about this film. Mm -hmm. I got the chance to see it with my 12-year-old daughter, Paloma. Kayla struggles with anxiety and panic attacks, and both of you oh, have that's, been very aw, open I feel bad that. for her. It seems to be happening, or at least we're more open to talking about it. What do you think uh, the role of social media hmm. is? in all of those struggles. Mm. I think it makes us much more self-aware. Um, That's that true. Probably leads it to does a lot make anxiety, people a lot more like, self-aware. No, and that probably leads to a lot of anxiety, because like, exactly. no one's really narcissistic on the internet. We're all just like trying to fit in, I think. That's and true. It's like, so it's more of like a shield, but that, that can make you anxious. Yeah. Performance anxiety and stage fright has sort of bled into kids' normal mm -hmm. lives. They yeah. feel like they're performing all the time. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's true. It's People don't stop performing, really. That's, I think, the problem. Parents like myself of a 12-year-old, what do we need to know about our preteen? You don't need to respect teens, but just, like, they're people who are feeling yes. probably just as emotionally insecure as you, mm -hmm. and they're not... I don't know, they think they know everything, or maybe you think they do, but they don't. I definitely um, think I know everything. Yeah, but I mean, like, I don't know. We're really just people without money or independence. That is really true, honestly. They feel like they have to be this, like, outside version of themselves all the time. You don't realize that everybody is performing all the time, and it's not healthy. <laughs> like, the accurate, like, depiction of, like, some teenage, like, teenager's life in a modern world, like, Oh my god, like I'm I'm such a, a s socially anxious person in real life, but I'm actually really fun on the internet and stuff. So today we're actually going to be doing something a little different. Ooh! Are we gonna watch it? Before you came to shoot today, we talked to your parents and you were both going to go see the full movie right now. Like, right now? Wh what? That's awesome! That's so cool! Yay!
first of all, welcome back. How's the movie? Did you have fun? Yeah, I had a lot of fun. It was really good. Some parts of the movie were like, like cringy, I guess. I'm pretty sure they were supposed to be cringy, but it was still just like, oh, I don't want to see this. Being someone who's you know very close to the age of the people who are in the movie, you know, did you feel that the movie was an accurate description of how life is for people around your age? I felt like for me it was more accurate to when I was in sixth grade because that back then like everyone was like LeBron James, Dab, Gucci, or like because like no one says that now. The personalities of like the kids are like accurate, but like the stuff that they say and like did weren't really accurate. I really say it's just how you choose to act. Like um, sometimes you can just like, you know, you can build your confidence and just like really get out there and make a lot of friends. But, or you can just be like Kayla and like sometimes be like shy and everything and you know. Um, I think I'm kind of like the in the between that spectrum. Well, I haven't been in eighth grade yet, but some of the parts were so relatable. The way like that um, boys and girls interact was very similar to what happens, like the awkwardness. It was more like a warning, and I was like, okay. Eighth grade, here I come. Even though the film focuses mainly on those in eighth grade, you know, the movie received an R rating for language. Yeah and I, I get why at some part. <laughs> so the director, Bo Burnham, was quoted as saying, I didn't want to make it R-rated, I just wanted to portray the way kids' lives are. Yeah, and he basically achieved that, like how they talk nowadays. Do you agree with that? Do you think that you know this is a movie that kids your age should see despite the R rating? Yeah, it's not gonna be worse than what they see in real life. It kind of like changed my perspective on how other people think. I'm not in the position that the main character was in, and it just made me like, get a different view on how she thought of stuff and how, like what she thought was right to do to be cool. This movie is like like depicted towards the teenage demographic and like obviously teenagers swear a lot and like you know they do like sex, sex like uh, feel like sexual things. The studios and stuff are like saying no this is, has to be R-rated if I see anything swearing or if I see anything like adult things and it has to be R-rated even though like you know teenagers sometimes do those things. So without spoiling things too much there is a scene a lot of people are talking about where the main character Kayla is in the car with an older teenager. Yeah that was so uncomfortable. I didn't want to see whatever happened next. I was like, no, please just get on with the movie. I don't want to watch this. I'm watching with my mom over here. How did that scene make you feel? Is that something that you'd ever worry about potentially happening? Yeah, that's why I, I always like, if I'm gonna get a ride from someone, I have to like know them so then I don't die. That's not necessarily something that I'm scared for in eighth grade. Um, I, I'm comfortable with my friend group and I feel safe around my friends. No one should be forced to do something that they don't want to do. I'm oh, very aware of my own surroundings and I'm a very, like, if I don't feel comfortable, I'll say something. You should obviously tell your parents about that kind of thing so they can really help you through that. And especially because they're a trusted adult who've gone, who've sometimes like gone through your situations out and they're your parents, so you must talk to them about it. So the movie portrayed, you know, the differences between those who were the popular kids versus those who were, say, maybe not as popular. From your perspective, what makes someone popular? Uh, like you have a lot of friends and like you go out and do stuff a lot. You like definitely have to be social. You can't be like always in the corner at a party. The type of people who. Um, pretend to be so exclusive, like you can't really be friends with them unless you're already friends with someone who's friends with them. They could just be a nice person who's confident in themselves, who's nice to others, respects one another, and is generally a good person who focuses on themselves and cares about others. You don't necessarily have to be like a snobby, rich, mean girl. Just because you're popular doesn't mean you have to be mean to everybody. There, I know like a lot of people who are popular at school and stuff who are actually just really nice people, who are really nice people and you know, um, sure like so the kids who are also unpopular, um, they don't have to be just like some always socially like like freaks and stuff. Like they can be really nice people too if you actually get to know them. I mean, if we're speaking honestly, do you consider yourself popular? Yeah, I think I'm popular. I don't know, it makes me feel like weird to say that I'm popular. I have a lot of friends. <laughs> I get invited to a lot of things. Don't want to say I'm popular, but I was with that group. No, I wasn't like an outcast or like really popular. I didn't really do anything weird or anything cool. I was just kind of there. I don't know people are either friends with each other or they talk to each other occasionally. Not really, when I was in fifth grade or 
fourth grade, I was part of one of the popular groups, but we weren't like one of the mean popular groups. All of us were really nice. Now I'm just somewhere in the middle, honestly. It's not that big a deal. I'd say not, not that much. I'm not really like looking for that. I'm just like looking to get like, you know, academically good grades and everything and just be, you know, just live my early or early like days I guess just like good sometimes that can be a little hard to go through be it but I'd honestly just say be yourself finally in the movie Kayla often films videos of herself sometimes leaving herself videos to watch when she is older yes YouTube queen so if you could what would you want to say to your future self when you were finished with school how bad did you do in school if you did bad I, I saw it coming I hope like you're doing like the same like that I'm doing right now because I love life right now and how everything's like going for me. So I just kind of want to keep it that way. I hope that you're still kind, you're still a huge animal rights activist. I hope that you started your own animal rescue like you wanted to. And I hope that you have a group of friends who you love and you aren't hanging out with just because they're cool. Do what makes you happy. And even though maybe high school was a struggle, uh, if it was or wasn't, um, you have to find the good days and the good times that you enjoyed yourself in high school. Stick with your friends, um, be happy, and then college is right around the corner. So like, you have time to make new friends, you have time to experience things, and um, just to enjoy yourself, basically. Thanks for watching this special episode of React. Gucci. 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 Gucci.